Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Z from GrowYouSay.com and uh, in today's video we are going to be creating uh, binder rings, digital binder rings from uh, Canva and we're going to be doing it uh, for free. Yes, you can sell this on your Etsy store or use them as your uh, mock-up for your uh, planners, your, your digital planners, your um, keynote planners, you know. So let's just go to ET and see what digital uh, binder rings look like. Okay. So I went to ET and I typed in binder ring. As usual, we need to know what binder rings are and um, people that are already selling them. Okay okay so uh, i just typed binder rings on etsy and if you came out you can see the search results uh about eleven thousand uh persons are selling different kind of binder rings okay so we'll just come down here and see uh the seller star seller star seller star seller so let's check out what this person um, has on their store okay so this is a set of binder rings you can see these are single ones okay and then you can see how it's used this is a double binder ring the one in the middle now it's a double binder ring so i'm going to show you how you can create this double one and how you can create the single one okay so now that we know how to create binder rings and you can see how much it sells for <laughs> okay so this is a bundle that sells for 480 448 oh okay another thing we can do see this one has variation of them let's check out the uh, sales for this thing let's go to suggestion most recent let's see if people actually buy bandai rings you can see this this person's last sale was april all right i reviewed don't forget not everybody who buys to review april 23rd 2023 so yes binder ring sells okay you can see this is our april 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 okay let's see this other person let's see if they are recent sale uh, okay this is me like this month you can see so people are actually buying binder rings okay so let's just jump into canva and create ours all right so guys uh if you're here and this is the first time that you're stopping by my channel you're welcome to my ogs you're also welcome okay so please do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and also click the like button your comment is also very much uh welcome it helps me grow in the channel all right guys so without further ado let's just go build our uh, binder rings now i'm on canva okay if you do not have canva i have a link down below that you can follow and uh, sign up for, for free okay uh just go to your custom size as usual i like this one inches okay depending on where you're building but today we're doing inches 8.5 by 11 inches is fine or you can simply just type us uh, document us later size document okay it's the same size 8.5 by 11 so if you have a canva pro account okay um i do okay I do have a, a canva pro account so if you have a canva pro account you can simply come here and type um, binder ring come to the edges here type binder ring and canva will bring out templates for binder ring for you okay and if you go to the element and you just type binder rings It will also bring out pre-made binder, binder rings for you. You can see. Okay, this is a pro account. Anyone with the crown is a pro account. Now, this is the type, the, the one without crown. This is it. So, you're left with uh, just what they have. So, but today, we're going to be customizing for the sake of this video so that we see how we can actually make um, binder rings even with our free Canva account. So, now, go back to your element and then i'm going to type half half circle i'll just look for any of the half circles that uh, resonate with me okay uh, something that's more like a do not shape okay 
good this one works okay so let's just resize it I am going to make it uh, a height of 2 uh, so I'm just resizing to a height of 2 and then a width of 5 is fine so I will zoom in so you can see this properly okay I know it's quite small so let's just zoom in okay so uh, I hope you can see it now let me just zoom in some more so I'll just pick a circle okay this is a circle more like it I'll reduce this as well I also want it in a height of of two okay I'll just bring it upward good I'll just reduce it resize it okay um, I zoomed in so you can get to see uh, how I am doing this thing okay I'll zoom it back out so you can see the final build okay so this is our circle reduced to a height of 2 and a width of 2 so I'll just turn this to black and I'll bring it here uh, I'll move it backward so I'll just duplicate this binder ring, uh, the half circle, the half do not. <laughs> okay, moving here. I want this thing to be like a, a semi, uh, like a small C kind of, okay? Like a small C, so I'll just put it on the body. So it can extend, all right? I'll just move it around, adjust it. Okay. Yeah, this is what we want so now I'll just group these two things together so I can move them as one all right okay and I will duplicate it now I'll just simply bring this and lap it a little overlap it a little duplicate again and lap it a little you can see it now right okay so that's our first group again and just bring it down here overlap it so I'll just take it backward so you can see it and then all you just need to do is continue to uh, add more rings or just um, if you're using a desktop control control D will help you duplicate or command D will help you duplicate so uh, I'll just continue like this okay and then uh, make it let me zoom in a little bit more so you get to see it so uh, here it is you have your binder ring now okay and what I can do now is just highlight everything and go to position just to be sure that they are uh, vertically spaced properly okay I clicked on vertically spaced uh, to tidy up my binder ring so guys this is the first binder ring now let's just group everything together let me group everything together so i can move it okay so guys uh, let me show you how you can do uh, a double kind of binder ring so we'll go back to elements and then we'll pick uh, something from here um, let's see what we have here half a circle let's go to half a circle again or uh, okay let me just use a shape now to do this so you know that you can actually use shapes to do that as well so I'll just pick this shape here and I will just reduce the size as well okay so okay let's get a circle again I'll reduce it to like a two so I'll just bring this here I want this a little bit longer so uh, let's position it backward I'll just duplicate this and I'll bring it here and position it backward as well so when you're actually doing like a middle mock-up you can actually use this okay so we'll group it together and then we'll duplicate it and just have it here okay good so I'll just duplicate this and group it together then duplicate it and bring it back here 
I'm sure you've seen those binders that have like just two kind of binders or three in uh, in yeah two or three in a book okay okay guys so we've created uh, different kind of binder links all right so what we'll do now is we'll go to we'll go to frame all right and then let's see how we can use binder rings in our book okay so i'll just pick something that has a book kind of um, shape all right like a book book okay so okay so i'm just trying to get um like a wooden board all right so as my background so that you can see whatever i'm putting behind it okay okay i think i'll use this one okay so so that you can see the book properly so this is our book now right our book um, mock-up so we can just simply pick one of these and just drop it there let me pick this blue and just put it here okay so i can increase it okay so that's how it's going to look so you can see how um the book mock-up will look like so i'll just put in something there so we can see it properly okay good so uh this is how our book looks like so i'm using a contrast to this so you can get to see it properly how it looks like okay okay guys so this is how our mock-up looks like so let's let's see how it will look in the middle okay let's duplicate uh, this all right i'll remove this binder ring So I'll just resize this one and make it smaller. So duplicate. Okay, so um, let me put in something inside here. Okay, so we can see the difference. Then I'll just go here and pick those binder rings and I'll put it here. This is um, a two way binder ring, this one. Okay so let me pick this one and i'll just put it here so you see what it's like okay so we'll just put it here like this and reduce it i can just um, let me reduce the size by ungrouping it So you see here you are i'll just zoom in so you can see it properly so you can see we have a, a binder ring and then we can also use the one that is let me duplicate this so you get what i'm trying to see we can use the other kind of binder ring let's just delete this one off sorry that moved uh, i think i'll just lock this one here so that it doesn't move around okay so I can uh, delete my binder rings now and bring in the other type, okay? This type. Let me bring in this one. Control C or uh, Command C, okay? And then you can reduce the. Okay, I've not grouped it, so let me just reduce it. Let me delete this one off. Um, depending on the thickness of your book, okay? So, e, these are the ways you can use your binder rings, alright? Let me change this to maybe one of these files i have here and see how so we can differentiate it i think i'll use this one okay yeah so if for those of you who want to sell these binder rings on etsy okay so you just go to your share button when you're done creating and then click on your share button okay let's wait for it okay there we are you go to download okay uh let's go back 
click on the share button click on download okay you want to download it uh, with a transparent background okay and this is only possible with canva all right for those of you who want to sell it um it's only possible with your canva pro account all right and you get a 30 day free trial period which is not bad all right guys so you can do this uh for sale okay on etsy so i'll just download the first page not the mockups anyways so you can just simply click on the first page where you have the binders and download it um, as a in a transparent background so i'm going to download it and then show you okay guys so let's go to our uh, upload now you go to your upload and let's see what we have downloaded okay so you see let me put a black background so you can see like you have them let me put a black background so you can see it let me change it to black okay so you see you can actually work with it now as a unit all right see if i want to use this i just simply crop it if i change it back to white you'll see what the background looks like yeah so i can use it as a single unit and then i can also increase or reduce the font the reduce it or increase it all right as i like you can see okay i think i'll just leave this background as black so you can get to see what i am doing okay so you can actually move it around if i want to make the background pink so let's just do it pink okay so you see you can now sell this on etsy okay okay guys we've come to the end of this video thank you for sticking with me and uh if you watched it to the end please don't forget to subscribe it do help us grow okay on to my next video don't forget that i love you keep growing mm -hmm.